Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the second PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And I'm going to show you how to create a real basic PowerPoint presentation and a few uh, uh, elements of the presentation using a template. As I mentioned in the intro to PowerPoint, there's a couple of different ways to create a new presentation. If you go to the Microsoft Office button here and click New, uh, you could do a blank presentation which would be right here and that's you do everything from scratch or you could use templates you'll notice here I have several recently used templates that I've been um, uh, working with and so if you go down here on the Microsoft Office online you can go and find lots of different uh, lots of different uh, templates to use for example let me go under featured and there's a couple like a certificate of appreciation I don't remember where I found this other one but I used the baseball one if you go into presentations then you get a, a whole list of uh, subheadings here and you could go under let's go under other and see what's there so there's ski snow skiing presentations you know there, there's a whole slew of options for you to make um, a presentation from so what I did here is I downloaded just a baseball one, real simple one. So I'm going to go to blank and recent and I'm going to choose the baseball one. And this is what it'll look like when you go to Microsoft Office Online. It'll tell you a little bit about the template and show it to you and it also has a rating. So here you can see this got four and a half stars and 557 people have, um, have commented on it. And what, it, what you do is just click download and it will download and now you have, have a, um, uh, a template to use. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to make up a few things here. So I'm going to go ahead and just label this Little League Baseball. Baseball. And then down here, I'm going to say, well, we'll call it Fall 2010 Season. And then that'd be my title slide. Now, there's a couple ways to add a new slide here. One is we could right click and say new slide or we could just hit control M as in Mary and you see it'll bring up a new slide and you see what happens here. Um, you just click and overwrite the template. So over here I'll say fall season and I'll say uh, sign up. Just make things up here. Sign up begins August 15th and then you'll notice there if you do if you move the um, cursor you have the normal bullet points here if you use the increase the list level you'll see it'll change to a hyphen or a smaller bullet so I'm gonna go and just uh, in, in, increase the um, the list level by one level there and I'm gonna go ahead and say t-ball is four to six years old And I'm going to say coach pitch is seven and eight years old. And then kid pitch, whatever it's called, is nine and ten years old. Okay, now if I want to make a new slide, again, I can just do control M. And you'll notice over here, so I have the same template to work with, but over here, let's assume I wanted to put in a picture of some sort. I could do lots of things here, right? You see insert table. Like if I click that, it'll ask me what kind of table I want to put in. So I could type in information about tryouts and what day they're on and so forth. Uh, or I could insert a chart. I could insert smart art. Um, or I could insert a picture. So I could go over here and insert a baseball picture and I could put it I could just put it up put it up here on the top right and then over here I could come in and say add another text box to add some text into the mix here. Okay and we could say uh, tryouts insert text box and then we could say tryouts begin uh, let's say September 1st okay and obviously we'd have to go back and fix that font since we're just add let me go ahead and 
make that larger and you know modify the font and so forth the other thing let me go ahead and make one more slide here and you can go over to view and you can do what's called view slide master and this will show you the layout so here you've got the date automatically inserted you have a footer you could put in your company name or your organization and then over here this shows you the layout of the title and then over here this shows you the text layouts right so here you could go in if you wanted to and modify modify the layout and then save the slide master to modify the template so you don't have to recreate the wheel from scratch every time so um, then to get out of that you just go back to view and say normal a couple quick things I want to show you is you know you can delete slides add them or whatever future um, tutorials we're going to do things like animate animate slides do more graphics things like that um, but right now I just want to show you a couple quick things uh, you have a couple views here you've got a normal view which is you know the uh, slides over here with the highlighted slide here in the the main window and then you have a slide sorter um, show here so if you wanted to take this one and rearrange them you could just drag it like that sorry drag it like that and bump that other one or just go ahead and change them back okay and then here this is going to take it off of the um, screen capture you're not going to see it but you could go to slideshow and it will take it into slideshow mode where you can scroll through and show your presentation okay whether it's on a projector or you're just showing it on a on a computer screen okay and then if you want to make things larger while you're working on a slide you can go over here to the bottom right and choose zoom in or zoom out okay so we're going to shrink it back down and so that's all I really want to show you on this one is how to do the basics pull a template modify it if you're like most folks you're going to have a you know your company would have a template that you're probably uh, going to be working with but one other quick thing that I want to show you is on if you're doing a new presentation you can go to new from existing and then you could create a um, a new slot a new PowerPoint presentation from an existing presentation and so that's real convenient to do you find one that you like and you work with it and you can know you can modify it a little bit here and there that's a, a convenient way to uh, to uh, work with PowerPoint so please subscribe and if you enjoy these and don't forget to leave me any comments if you want to you know you want to see something specific uh, and I'm going to come back and do a blank uh, create a presentation from a blank um, uh, blank template take care thanks